OMG guys, it's finally the day that we review my boyfriend deck of all time. I've been so excited to do this review and there are a few decks from this whole kind of two week period where I got a bunch of new decks that I'm gonna be doing full reviews of over the next week. So you'll be seeing uh, my final kind of thoughts for you all on a lot of these over the next, I would say five to seven days. But I wanted to start with my boyfriend, my ultimate deck. And I just need to start by saying that I am in no way uh, unbiased when it comes to this deck. I am so in love with this deck. I'm so smitten with this deck. Um, this is like my ultimate boyfriend deck. And <laughs> as you guys know, because I've been talking about it on the channel, it's not like, okay, well, let me say, first of all, this is an indie deck and it's absolutely beautiful. But it's not as if this is an Oracle deck that's like breaking the, the, the parameters of any Oracle deck ever created. And it's bringing something to the table that you've never seen before that you're going to be absolutely wowed with. So I do feel like I have to say that to start because I love this deck so much that I'm not unbiased. And you might end up getting it and not understand. But this deck is like my ultimate boyfriend deck. I freaking love this deck. So this is the White Owl Mystic Arcana Oracle deck. And I bought this on Phoenix and Lotus. Uh, you guys may remember the reveal that I did. But the artist also has an Etsy shop. So I will put both links below because last I knew Phoenix and Lotus was sold out of this one. And I know, uh, and some of you may decide to purchase after this full review. So this is the gorgeous box that the deck comes in. And here's what the back says. The White Owl Mystic Arcana is a self-published Oracle deck made from a collection of images created during a focused period of self-discovery and alignment with the universe. The cards bring to the four energies and aspects of ourselves, both individually and as a collective. Each image illuminates an energy that we can focus on to better understand our circumstance and path. Images found on each card were researched to showcase their relationships to the zodiac, color systems, tarot, geological formations, along with flora and fauna correspondences. They are saturated in meaning and can be used both in divination and study. So that is what the box says. And then you get this really adorable little white book on the back is stamped with the date. There is a small little kind of about section about Alfie and why she chose to create it. And then there are little bullet points for each of the cards in the deck. Now she says in the guidebook that really this is just a jumping off point and you can absolutely like start your start diving deeper with the deck by Google searches and spending time with the card images. So you're not going to get out of the little white book um, a complete understanding of astrology or an ability to understand the moon cycles. You're going to need to use something in addition to. But included in the deck are the 12 zodiac signs, nine planetary energies. I just want to say this part for you guys because this, this does matter to the structure of the deck. And then there are the 13 moons of the year. So it's very much going to give you, and actually let me see, uh, hold on, there's more. I knew it. I was like, that doesn't sound like enough. So there are the cycles of the moon um, and then five elemental energies and basic energies. So this is really like kind of a, a deck that covers a lot of bases. And if you are wanting something to be able to clarify in a tarot reading, this is going to give you that kind of astrological moon cycle clarification to your tarot reading. I work really intuitively with this deck and I found that it works beautifully that way. So um, let me see. I want to say like all the things because I love this deck so much. I'm so in love with this deck. So this is the card backings. Um, I, I fucking love these card backings. I, I can't even, I can't even. So <laughs> as I said in my reveal and as I, and as I've talked about this deck over the last few weeks, this deck is like my ultimate hipster boyfriend that was like waiting for me at the bar and was like, when I walked in to meet him was just like, dressed perfectly, a little hipster, a little bit rough around the edges, but still an intelligent man and bought me the most fabulous drink. And we have like 
the most delicious conversation, right? Like I am just smitten with this deck. Like I look at this deck and I smile. It makes me happy. I carry the deck with me pretty much everywhere I go. I use it all the time for my own draws just because this deck makes me so happy. And I love the beautiful thing about collecting decks is that you will find that there are these decks. Like I have my husband deck, my ride or die deck, which of course is Tarot of Vampires, as you guys know, although Murder of Crows is now a very close second. Um, but you know, that's that deck that like you are very devoted to each other. Uh, it's like long-term commitment. There's investment. You're, you're really working with that deck and paying attention to it and valuing it and showing up for it. And it's doing the same for you and magic happens together. And that's like the wifey deck, right? The husband or wifey deck. This is like the naughty hot date and I just want to hang out with them all the time and I want to know everything about this deck and this is that deck for me. So if you are new to collecting, you will find that you have like different relationships with each of your decks, very unique experiences and this one is just like this gorgeous, beautiful puppy love experience. So I will show you some of the artwork. So it is collage based. As you can see here. And again, guys, I just, it's just one of those things like you love what you love, right? And this is that deck for me. So you can see very astrologically focused. And if you're learning about astrology, then this is also a great companion. I really like to use the elemental cards for setting up ceremony and ritual. Um, and I've posted some of that in my Instagram stories. So if you're interested in, in seeing what that looks like, you can follow me on Instagram. But it's, it's a really, really great deck for using the imagery in ritual as well. So it's a great clarifier, but you also do have the option of using the deck in ritual or if you're wanting to invoke, evoke, or if you're wanting to work with some manifestation magic, this is a deck that you could very easily pull from the um, symbolism within the deck to kind of help create that structure of the ritual for yourself. The cardstock is, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys, it's not my favorite cardstock. It's, it is slippery, but my obsession with this deck my smittenness and my love for this gorgeous deck means that I don't care about the cardstock in this situation. <laughs> However, this is not my typical cardstock of choice. Just be aware if you are drawn to purchase it from this review. Don't come at me with like, what the fuck with the cardstock racine? You're always like bitching unless it's like true black quality, <laughs> which is true. You would be right. <laughs> but in this situation, I literally don't care. I love this deck. It's just really, really beautiful and fun. And it just makes me feel young and lighthearted and like, I don't know. So yes, I love this deck, guys. Look at that. Like, I love that imagery there. Um, let's see, a December moon's pretty. But again, you're gonna want to do something on like, you're probably gonna want something in addition to the little white book if you wanna use this for the moon cycles for understanding astrological um, um, associations if you're using the deck with tarot. So you're gonna wanna bring in some extra pieces to the puzzle for yourself as you're getting to know the deck. However, it will totally be worth it. And this deck is really great to kind of clarify timelines and possible other individuals, either in your life or the client or clearance life. So there's a lot of options to working with this deck. And I think it's just beautiful. And um, like I said, I kind of travel with it all the time. I like to have it in my purse. And I, I have it on my personal altar so I can look at the card backings every morning because I don't know. Um, I think I was talking to one of my friends and they were saying that it reminds them of like that our 80s childhood. So if you were an 80s baby, and actually I think that that's probably a, a fair point with this backing, you might really, I don't know. I don't know if that's why I love it so much. Maybe it's nostalgia, but this card backing, I just adore. And I'm not usually a color person. Like you guys know, this deck is like an anomaly for me, but I am absolutely in love with it. 
Um, I said yes to the second date. I said yes to the third date. I just want to hang out with this guy all the time. I really, really love this deck. So I, and I'm going to be honest with you. I cannot be unbiased, as I said. So I would say if you feel drawn to the artwork, then you may really love working with this deck. If you don't feel drawn to the artwork, then it may not be the right deck for you because you are going to be using your intuition with the deck a great deal. So if you're not drawn to the artwork, it might be difficult for you to find your way into actually getting your money's worth out of your investment. And so far as like actually being able to use the deck. Um, so I would just say, be aware of that. If you're really not drawn to the artwork, I wouldn't go ahead and make this purchase. If however, like me, you're smitten with the deck and you want to have a little love affair, then I highly recommend this deck. As I said, I've been using it a lot uh, and it just makes me happy every time I look at it. And I love decks like that. It's so cool when we get decks like that. So this has been my full review of the White Owl Mystic Arcana Oracle. Absolutely love it. If you're interested in purchasing it, the link is below. I did purchase this deck with my own funds. I was, it, this is not, no one sent this to me, um, but I really do like this artist and I really do love supporting indie decks. So I think it's awesome that this artist has produced this deck and she was really working, she was working with a shaman as well so when she was creating it, if I recall correctly from the guidebook. So there is a shamanic undertone to this as well, especially in those elemental cards. So if you're kind of looking for something like that to add to your collection, then this might be a good option for you too. But as always, I'm sending you all much love and many blessings. Thanks for hanging out with me and my boyfriend this morning. I hope you all are doing well out there in the world and I will see you in the next video. Bye.